Good morning. This sign explains it all right here. Beaches and boat rental closed due to water contamination. Visitors and pets avoid contact with water. And one business, one canoe business, they say that 80% of their business for this weekend has already been impacted. And seven Action News investigators have found out that this is not the first time that this company has been fined. State investigators widened their water sampling effort on Wednesday and are expecting more results today. Even if they go on and say this week it's going to be only two or three weeks, the, the stigma of this thing is going to stick with people for a long time. Alan Heavner is the president of Heavner Nature Connection and says his canoe rental business has taken a hit because of the closure. Source is coming out of the Norton Drain, which is just upstream from where we launch our canoe. The state has also advised people to avoid contact with a here on river due to Tribar's cancer causing chemical spill of hexavalent chromium, which is a toxic compound. The spill was several thousand gallons. At this time, we believe this is only affecting us here at Kensington. An investigation is underway right now by Eagle to find out when the spill actually started on Saturday. And those who are using the river over the weekend could have been put at risk. So we're trying to find out exactly how much uh, came out of there. Um, whether all of it went through the wastewater treatment plant or some of it might have been caught, uh, we're not sure yet, but that's that's ongoing. The Seven Action News investigators found that this is not the first time that the state has taken action against the Wixom-based tri-bar manufacturing. Just last fall, seven investigators discovered documents showing that Tribar had an air quality violation that was related to metal treating tanks at the auto parts supplier. And in 2018, Eagle launched an investigation into discharges of the cancer-causing forever chemical known as PFOS. Eagle then issued violation notices to Tribar Manufacturing. We are doing everything we can to protect public health and the environment um, um, from these sorts of, uh, of disasters. Now, two samples were taken on Tuesday at the mouth of the Norton Creek and on the Huron River. Both came back negative for the cancer-causing chemical, but officials want to stress that those samples are not enough to come to any conclusions. Again, we are expecting those nine samples results uh, later this morning. Reporting at Kensington Metro Park, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Right, and uh, what's most important out of this is, you know, the impact on health, and we just hope that people who might have been exposed uh, to the hexavalent chromium over the weekend uh, certainly find out if they were exposed and get any treatment if it's necessary. Peter Maxwell, Live Force this morning in Milford Township. Now, anyone with questions about hexavalent chromium or possible exposure can call this hotline. The number is 1-800-648-6942. That hotline is open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, with extended hours this weekend. We also have this number posted for you on our website, WXYZ.com, if you need to check it again.